Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, everybody, I know this video is late. I know, um, I had a lot of crap to do the past like three days, so it's kind of been a hectic week for me. But just a few quick things before we get into today's story time. Yes, these bruises are what you guys think they're from. Um, I did get lip filler. Anyways, so the Steelers won today, which means that we could possibly be going to the playoff and it's Ben's last season. He decided to retire. You guys probably don't give a shit, but I'm going to be doing like a Steelers themed look today. Also, today's story time is about bullying, as you can tell from the title, but I would like to say in no way, shape, or form do I condone bullying, okay? But I am not going to lie. While I was reading through this story, I did laugh at a few things, so if I'm laughing, just don't take that the wrong way, please. Um, I just have a really bad sense of humor, <laughs> and I'm very childish, so I kind of laugh at things that shouldn't be laughed at. I don't laugh at the bullying part there's just a part in there where um i just can't keep my composure <laughs> i'll try i'll try for you guys but still i'm literally wiping my face off and self tanner is coming off that's not okay that probably means i'm like orange love that for me okay so i'm going to bring you guys up close there we go okay so just a quick rundown before we get into today's story time most of the time these story times are sent in by an anonymous person and for most of the video i will be looking in this direction because my mirror is over here and i would like to see what i'm doing i do tell these story times in a first person point of view so if you don't like that then you can hit the road okay so story time about Becca the bully. So a little background information. I was 16 and in 10th grade. So I had been in the same school all my life and I've also had all of the same friends. I never like switched friend groups, you know, or anything like that. So for my parents to say in the middle of the school year, like, hey, um, we have to leave for my job. I was pretty pissed off. And with that being said, I was pretty excited only because we lived in, I guess you could say the country. Probably not. Maybe I'm over exaggerating, but still. And I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, background information about my life at home before I had moved. I was pretty much the baddest bitch in my school. Like my girls and I ran the school for as long as I can remember. This low key sounds like a mean girl movie. What the fuck? Anyways, basic bitches wanted to know me or be me and I never had a problem with getting any single guy that I wanted because all of them liked me. This girl's pretty uh, cocky I would say, but okay sis, go off. We were super respected and kind of um, feared I would say, even by the teachers because my parents were very important people. Well, pretty much my friends and I's parents were very important people. I'm not even gonna lie, we were really mean, especially to this one girl who ended up moving schools. She ended up going out with one of my best friend's boyfriends and when we confronted her about it, she said that she had no idea that they were even together, which is a complete lie because they would walk around the school holding hands and everything like that. But okay, lie to my face. So literally in um, eighth grade, we put bird shit in her hair, I'm sorry, this is the part where I just can't keep it together. We put bird shit in her hair and called her, I'm a terrible person, bird turd Becca. And listen, I don't give a fuck who you are. If you put bird shit in my hair, it's on site for everybody. Your mom, you, your dad, anybody, I swear to God. Anyways, back to the story. I definitely regret that now looking back at it, but nothing ever happened. We never got suspended or anything like that. And that just really shows how much power we had in this school. Like we could just make people disappear like that. But anyways, like I said, new city, new me, leave the old in the past, right? That was the plan here. I would say the first couple weeks were okay. Nothing major happened, but weird things would happen here and there. Just things that weren't in the ordinary. But I would say about a month into me being at this school is whenever things kind of took a turn for the worst. The one day while I had been in gym class, I went back to the locker room and my clothes were missing. So I had to wear 
sweaty gym clothes the rest of the day but then after that even more shit started happening and i thought that could have been a coincidence i was like okay like maybe somebody just stole my clothes you know people are like that so i have took this two hour test for history class and after i was done with the test i took it up to the bin and i put it in well the next day whenever i go into history class my teacher tells me that I never turned in the test and that I have to take it again. And I'm sitting there like, what the hell are you talking about? Like I put it in and then people after me went up and put their stuff in the bin. And after you take the test, you can't look at your phone or anything. So the only thing I really had to do was sit there and just watch people put their tests in the bin wondering when I could go on my phone again. So I was like, whatever, at this point I really had no choice but to take the test again. And also, um, weirdly enough, so in the morning, whenever you got to school, you had to go and you had to check in on um, this iPad, right? And you had to like show your student ID every time. And the only one student was allowed in there at a time. So you had to kind of go in one at a time. It was only for the students that drove to school too. So I would go in there and then the freaking door would be locked and I couldn't go out to, you know, get into the hallway. And it was weird. So I had to like stay in there, wait, kind of pound on the door and somebody would have to come by and unlock it. So it was like that kind of weird stuff that was happening. And the worst thing that happened was the one day I'm sitting in my math class and all of a sudden a security guard comes and says that they need to see me. They walk me down to the office and the principal tells me like, hey, like somebody came and told us that you were handing out test answers to people and that you were cheating on tests and stuff like that. And they even had my history teacher there who was like, yeah, like her test did go missing, you know, like missing. He was being a dick. And they were like, so we searched your locker and we found um, one of the Scantrons with all of the test answers bubbled in. So of course I told them, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like nobody's out here stealing no test answers. Like I don't need that. Like I was smart. I got A's just because I'm smart, duh. So of course, because I couldn't prove that I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I got suspended for two weeks and they gave me an F for the rest of the semester for that class. Lovely. Mind you, I'd never gotten an F in my life. I've always had, Can you stop. I've always had A's and B's. I mean, out of all this going on, there was one thing that made it better. I had met this boy and funny thing, he was actually one of the first people that I met at this school. Eventually, after a few weeks of knowing each other, we decided to start dating. We got along super well. And after I told him about the whole suspension thing, he said that he would come and visit me every day of my suspension after school. But he never showed up, of course because what men ain't shit period and i would say the worst thing was is the sixth day of my suspension i had went to school to grab some papers and i had to go into each of these classes to get them well when i'm walking in the hallway i see him kissing some other girl i mean not that weird to be honest like we said men are shit they cheat is what it is i went home i texted him we're done but then later that day I'm on Instagram and I realized I was tagged in a picture. And the caption of this picture said bird love with a bunch of laughing emojis, which I was like, what the fuck, why was I tagged in this? Nothing really was making too much sense. But after my suspension was over, I went to school with my parents and we all decided that it was time for me to switch schools. My parents were pissed off too because they told the school like she's never done this if you look back on you know like everything from the previous school that she was in no bad notes or anything like that right but as soon as they heard that i was willing to switch schools they were like all right you know yes you probably should do that they did not disagree so pretty much after i left that meeting everything became quite clear to me on what the hell was going on so of course because i had like three days left of school before i switched schools i went to gym class and i went into one of the stalls to change and while i'm getting changed um quite literally a bucket of bird shit comes falling over the one side of the stall 
it gets all over me it's like in my hair in my eyes it was quite disgusting actually i went blind for probably four minutes and all i could hear was laughing on the outside of the stall door so i tried opening one of my eyes to grab a piece of clothing that thankfully didn't have bird shit on it i wiped my eyes opened the stall and realized that the girl that I bullied from my school was the one who was doing all this shit to me. She was standing there laughing with her friends and I went to walk out of the stall so that way I could probably like beat her when all of a sudden the stall gets slammed back at my face, hits me in the head and I fall and I'm like screaming at this point. <sighs> Thankfully, they had showers in the locker room, so I ran over to the shower. I wasn't going to tell any of the teachers about it because, listen, the teachers like to gossip, and I wasn't about to have everybody knowing that I got bird shit poured all over me, even though there's probably a video on it somewhere on the internet. We don't know. But um, I was pretty livid, to say the least. And usually after gym class, we would all take a shower. So I grabbed my shower shit, went into the shower. And the only clean clothes that I had at this point were my gym clothes. But I just skipped school after that. Like, it wasn't happening. I wasn't about to fucking walk into gym class and act like everything was okay when it really wasn't. But the next day, whenever I went into school, um, there was a whole meeting on why one of the stalls were filled with bird shit. And of course... Of course I told the teachers because, excuse me, you're not about to get away with bullying me. You got me fucked up. Like, sorry girly. So she got suspended. And then of course I told the teachers that she's the one who's been doing all this crazy shit to me. Of course they thought it was some conspiracy or whatever. But then they had checked the cameras in the hallway and saw her going in and putting the test answers in my locker and stuff like that. But I guess at the end of the day I did get a taste of my own medicine. I mean, Becca was my bully the whole time and I didn't even know. All the pranks and, um, I'm sorry, pranks and dirty games that she was playing, I completely walked into. So, I mean, good for her, you know. She got me. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I am really thankful, I guess, because I learned a lot from her and to this day, I don't judge or bully, I listen and help because at the end of the day, no one person is better than the other. But I decided to stay at that school instead of moving. Like I said, I told the principal about all the shit. She got suspended. She came back. And at the end of the day, her and I did end up becoming really good friends. Okay, everybody, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to send in your anonymous story time, click the link down below in the description. And if you want to see more of me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know whenever I post my next video, make sure to hit that bell. But other than that, I will see you guys next time.